I'm just doing a quick video to show you the difference between a 300 pounds oscilloscope against something five times the price uh, but mainly concentrating on the 300 pounds version the, these are the O1 oscilloscopes there's lots of them around at the moment this is a 100 meg version uh, you can have battery uh, and make it nice and portable have a battery with it I think that's an optional extra and uh, it's a dual channel very light small um, and we'll sort of check it against something five times the price the Agilent 2000 series and you know see how they compare with each other the O1 is designed to be sort of nice and portable hence the battery operation uh, and you can get a nice little bag for it like this which is fine I've actually put a piece of velcro in here because these magnetic tabs just they just don't hold anything in place once you start putting the scope leads in there uh, but let's have a look first impression yeah a little oscilloscope they've got a very nice 8 inch screen on them little tilting feet on the bottom this is where your battery goes slots into the bottom there and uh, you know like I say it's two channel you get all the little accessories with it some leads the destruction manual that covers SDS 6062 7102 8102 so on and so forth leave that in there and you get all the little connectors for the end of the scope leads so what I'm going to do is switch this one on and switch the Agilent on and then yeah, just send a signal to them and see how they compare right I'm going to switch them both on at the same time see which one starts up first okay the O one's lit up it's a bit unfair this because the Agilent's got four channels and you know it's going to do a heck of a lot more and it's ready 13 seconds not bad come on Agilent you can do it keep going 25 seconds right 36 seconds not bad okay I'm going to send a signal into both of them uh, just have a little play around I'm not dismissing the O1 uh, because for the money that you pay for this you get you're getting quite a lot of scope for your money so you know people who are at a lower budget or are just starting electronics or whatever will find something like this quite useful for a while okay side by side <clears throat> The O1 at 18 and a half centimeters against the Agilent at 17 and a half centimeters. This is the waveform screen. That's actually got a larger waveform screen. And you'll also notice this has got 15 across, and this has got 10 across divisions, of course. So, this has actually got the biggest uh, viewing screen. Anyway, let's put in some signals and see how they cope. Uh, both instant, let's just stop that. So, this has got 15 divisions across, this has got 10 divisions across, so it's showing another 50% more of the waveform but just use your horizontal and you can get more waveform in there obviously uh, now on the little O1 you can just unplug the mains there you 
we go. And it's still running off its own little battery, which is very handy. You also notice on here, this has got LAN and VGA already built in for the price. The Agilent one, you have to buy a separate, let me turn this around, a separate unit that fits in here for your VGA and LAN. And believe it or not, that is £272 for that piece to plug in, which is the price of this thing really, which has already got it built in. So I'm not going to knock the O1 at all, because for the price of it, it's pretty good value for money. It's got the USBs, uh, so you can save screen captures and things and print them out later. Uh, same as the Agilent. So for a handy little out and about oscilloscope, if you need something portable and you need something on a, a budget, then the little O one's gonna it's going to perform okay. There's no problems with it there. Side by side, the Agilent is twice the size of the R1, but it's four channels. It's a bit of a more professional piece of equipment. Uh, there's not a heck of a lot in it at the front, but it's small and it's, you know, they've even got this sort of little indentation in the back to make it super, super slim. All the charger and everything is all built in there to charge the battery. And just plug the mains straight in and off you go. This also comes with a pair of 100 megahertz probes. The Agilent has 150 megahertz probes. And by the time you've put this away in its bag, with all its probes and accessories, and stick all those in there, and its accessories, it's still, it's still lighter than the Agilent. So, money-wise, something on a budget, they're fine. These are okay. They're not as bad as, as you think. So, sorry, that was just a, a quick video. Not very, very informative. But I just wanted to show you the difference between something nice and cheap, cheap and cheerful, that does the job uh, against something, you know, five times the price. And for those of you who like to look for the little extras, if you go into utility, options, preferences, screensaver, and you type in Trek, this is your screensaver. Thank you for watching.